move for GLS first half 2024. I have covered the first five and now let's go into the next five. Part two. Margaret Drive. Huala. Wow, this is a happening plot, man. When you hear Queenstown, ah, wow, ooh la la. Everyone make money there. And here can build 460 units. Perfect land size. Part one boring ah, uh. part two better. Ah, uh, this is the land plot beside Queenstown Primary School, and it's very near to Queenstown MRT station. And the most recent transacted was Sterling Residences sold in 2017 for 1,051 per square feet, which is my number one new launch for 2018. So let's hope that this land plot is going to sell at a good price, which I'll be guessing in the range of 1,003 to 1,004 per square feet. Of course, the lower the better lah, so that every investor who buys this will be the next giant huakui ma. Now let's go for the next one, which is number six. Me Media Circle, also City Fringe, but I don't have the feel eh. Can build 515 units. Actually, it's located here. You can see that it's zoned as business park, but government just changed this land plot to residential site. This is special because it includes 400 square meter of commercial space, which is like Avenue South, which has around 450 square meter of commercial space. I don't have the feeling of how much the Apple will buy here, but since it's city fringe, I'll be guessing 1,002 to 1,003 per square feet per plot ratio because no MRT nearby. Okay, let's hope the next one will be. Power one. Dairy farm wow, wow, wow. Hey, another farm. Ayo. It's located here at the orange color plot. Some recap. Dairy farm residences is a pink color plot with commercial at first story. Sold 2018 at 830 per square feet per plot ratio. This is the one where all the owners complain na, because before they buy this project. The maintenance fee was supposed to be about two, three hundred dollars. How they know before TOP, the developer tell them no, 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 it's seven hundred dollars. Then everyone jump, 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 very angry and they complain. No. And the latest news is they revert back to the previous maintenance fee, but it is still higher than what is supposed to be here expensive la it's out of nowhere it's the same la you go to yong frang yok in switzerland the laksa cup noodle six dollar because they need to transport ma same like this area la nobody go there the bird don't even fly there and shit there okay next followed by the botany 2022 march sold for 980 per square feet so here no mrt out of nowhere near jungle i'll be guessing thousand one to thousand two per square feet Next one, Tengah Garden Avenue, which can build 860 units with 3,000 of commercial space. This is the first condo in the huge transformation Tengah area. Le. First mover advantage. So this is the first mixed development in Tengah beside Hongka MRT station some more. Usually blue color side, ah, shopping mall. Ah. Usually their commercial space is a lot more, which is like 7,000, 8,000 square meters. So this is just a 3,000 square meter commercial space. I can't find similar 3,000 square meter, but I found 2,000 square meters commercial space. You will have one Burnham, Midtown Modern, Sinica, and Actra. So it will be one and a half times bigger. Lor. All the ECs here are sold at 700 per square feet. I don't know how much this land plot will be selling and it's a mixed environment. I'll be guessing 1,001 to 1,002 per square feet. Of course, hopefully cheaper. La. So that everyone who buys it will be giant hot hot. Ma. Hey guys, comment below which GLS you like the best and tell me why do you like it. The last one, this one very interesting. OCR land plot. Tampany Street 94 can build about 585 units, 10,500 square meter of commercial space. This is the location. This blue color land plot is the mixed development just beside your Tampany's West MRT station. So previously we have Treasure at Tampany's previously was Tampany's Court on block 2017 for 655 per square feet. I remember in my Treasure at Tampany's review, I shared that there's this area in this map Government not yet announced what they're going to do, but they have already zoned the area. This is near to the Tampines West MRT station, and there is one blue plot and two beige plot. It means that there will be a shopping mall built there, just like Pasir Ris 8, and maybe the 
two condos will be another two avenues south that will see Bedok Reservoir. So it happened lah. So for those people who make money from Treasure at Tampines, you can actually consider to make money from here lah. But it still comes back to how much you ever bought the land for. I did some research. It will be something like 10,800 square meter with stereo mall in Yishun and 11,000 square meter of commercial space, La Quest. It's a tough guess, but I'll be guessing 1,150 to 1,250 per square feet per plot ratio. There is one interesting land plot in reserve lease, Bayshore Road, which can be about 480 units. Perfect land size as well. In my previous video where I talked about the Bayshore HDB flats, I guess that the first condo site in Bayshore will be in this few area. Let's see whether I'm correct. And the first two condos that I guess, it will be here. Just these two condos alone can build 2,000 units. It is here, beside your Costa there also. It will be the first condo new launch in this area or in the East Coast plan for more than 20 years. Leh. Costa there also is already 19 years old. Eh. So this launch is really more than 20 years. Let me know which GLS do you like the most and let me know why by commenting below. Yeah.